Hello. Let's just move around. Don't really want to get shot by this guy. Chaps. What a pleasure. What a pleasure. Okay, these guys didn't activate, which suits me just so. Oop. See if I can pull just the one. Nice. Oop. Man with the uh, angry, angry furry issues. Not a friend of mine. That's what's saying. However, blood vials, bullets, bullets. Evil crow monsters. Nice! Someone did ask in the comments why I'm not using the vis uh, the uh, changing attack, the transformation attack. Uh, simply because I don't know the whip well enough to risk using it in combat. Some of them lock you in place, some of them do lots of stuff. I don't want to keep pissing around with it, find out it locks me in place and I die or something stupid. I know that's a dumb answer, but it's a genuine reason. Now, what we have here is goodies somewhere. Oop. That's it, I think. That just leads us back to where we were, I think. Just gonna double check. Let's have a look. Yep. Nothing up here. I thought it was an item up there, but could have been mistaken. Anyway. Right, so we've done the thing and got the NPCs where we need them, which is nice. Uh, Everybody is still dead here, which is incredibly helpful. And I'm pretty sure there was something else I wanted to do while everyone was snuffing it. Did I clear out the graveyard of all the items? I believe I did. Yeah. Well, we've opened up the shortcut, or relative shortcut. Also note, the night has changed. We are now into full moon here. So, and keep an eye out on stuff. I'm going to point out as many things as I can, but you'll probably notice things are starting to change. Not necessarily for the better around here, either. Things are getting very, very weird. What we're going to do is shut this gate as well. Makes more sense. To keep this gate shut, this fine chappy here won't aggro if I get too close. Right. Do I want to come this way? Oh yeah, some of the NPCs have now disappeared, which also makes it a bit easier. You can walk through this area without getting molested. Okay, what I'm going to do is go to the jail and show you something. Would you like to return to Thunder Stream? You alright? Hello. Welcome Lovely home. Dolly. I wish to well. squeeze another level up, please. Uh, I want to level endurance. Not. Okay. Thank you, Dolly. Well, good Dolly's good to us. Let's head to the jail. I wish I could show you the cutscene. Um, it, it wasn't very important, truthfully. Basically, you get killed, you get an animation of a bag being put over your head, then you wake up in the cell. I'm going to appear somewhere slightly different. But that's all that happens. I'm really sorry I missed the capture. It's really stupid of me, and I realised what happened when I died. I was like, ah, I was kicking myself over it. Okay, this is uh, Yarigal, the unseen village, and it's full of fucking Santas. This is not my favourite place in the world. I can tell you that. But I have got a a, a, a sort of Santa one-two down to get these guys. So what you do, you go them into doing the punch, and then they do the kick which is normally shortly afterwards. Oh, he's doing the bag. So avoid the bag. Then get some hits in when he's recovering, like so. He then goes into angry Santa mode, in which we do a visceral attack, and it didn't work. Fuck! That is not good. Now we have an extremely fast, very angry Santa on the move, who can uh, basically one-shot us with a kick. F you, Santa. Asshole. Oh god, the shotgun shot got it. No, he's dead. Wonderful. That is not how we fight Santas, that is bad. We're supposed to get the visceral attack. Also note, this game has this uh, area of the game has chanting in it, which is disturbing. Ah, balls at it too early again. Uh, oh, you complete bastard, Santa! Fuck you and every Christmas carol you stand for. Piss. Yeah, that went well. Santa! 
Good to see you again, my friend. By good to see you, I mean, of course, I wish you were dead. Okay. There we go. Now I've got the visceral sound. There! That's how we're supposed to do it. That's my official Santa 1 2 guide of uh, not stuffing it. Alright, luckily Santas don't seem to pick up your your soul echoes. Eh, blood echoes, whatever. I don't understand why, but they don't. Which suits me. Down to the ground. And then, fuck, dodge the kick. He didn't do it. Okay, Santa doesn't do a kick, doesn't matter. Just. And then we're gonna whistle attack Santa. There we go. Excellent. Santa's wife's come out to pay a visit. Mrs. Claus! Mrs. Claus, please! Fuck you, Santa. Everything in this game makes absolutely terrifying noises. It's like nightmare in a, in an area in a game in sound. It's absolutely hideous. Okay, uh, we didn't have a quick good look around. So imagine we've come out from this area down here. This is what would have happened, and we go, "Yay, Halloween! You're so good. You record everything. Everyone cheers." And you see this. Recognize that fella? Looks like out in the cathedral, huh? Look at these statues. And that looks like a child's body, huh? Feel free to make your own conclusions. Okay. Hey! You! Evil crystal lizard blob monster in this game. Thank you. Good. We'll use you later. Now, I do want to clear this area out, which means we start the basement. This is where we spawned in, in this jail. I say jail, it's like it's an old mansion house of some sort, honestly. That's been retrofitted to have cells. This is the one we pop in. And we go, erp derp, when we come out here. Thick cold blood. Oh, and a message on the floor. Madman toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon, uncover their secrets. The moon? Mm. Let's make sure there's no Santas down here. Don't want any nasty. Guess what we're doing? Uh, hmm, guess that glove stick matter. We're posing as a member of the clergy. I'm sure this is illegal, but whatever. Dearest child. There we go. So I guess that lovely lady, uh, basically to sort of safety. Uh, I, what do I want? Hunter guard, probably for a bit. Just a bit more defense on blunt. Plus look swag as shit. Oh, Lady Kiko, you're looking lovely and dashing again. Right. 
that's all four of the NPCs for the area. We rescue a lot of them, and we get a little something, which is nice. Plus, we get that lovely feeling that we've done some good in the world. Especially when this place is a complete piss hole. Okay. There's a couple of bits left to do here that I want to do. Um, there is an optional boss nearby that I'm not doing right now. I'm not prepared, and I'm not ready for it yet, so... Oh, I hate this place. This is wonderful. Yes! Santa's wives! You think you're clever, don't you, Santa's wives? With your fucking spoons and the digging in my head. But you're not clever. You're not big. You're just full of lies. Also terrifying. Terrifying noises. Yeah, we better finish these guys up before Santa turns up and uh, ruins our day. What we want to do is use a pebble to pull... There's two Santas in here. We want to pull one of them. Oh shit, I've angered both Santas. Oh god, I've done the worst thing possible. I've angered double Santas. That is double the pain at, like, half the price. Shit. I didn't want to do that. Are they staying in there? Oh, nice. Okay, maybe he didn't really care. Right. Let's pull one Santa then. Good. Can't Santa Claus. Santa baby, coming down my- Ugh! Something about chimneys. Oh, shit. Make sure the other one isn't going. There we go. One dead Santa Claus. That could have gone a lot worse, considering- No, don't bow to the Santa's party body, that's just stupid. Alright. Ah! Fucking ow. Ah! Okay, that's two blood vials. I'll just churn through. I don't understand what these things actually are, but I do know they're completely fucking terrifying. There, mu there must be some sort of creature, but... Fuck, if I know. They scare the living piss out of me and I find them very unsettling. Either way, it is now dead. Good. That a dead Santa is the only way I like to see Santa. For Santa is here to ruin you. And to kill you. And to make you wish you were never born. See, Santa's been kidnapping all these hunters all night as well. Not that I feel particularly sorry for them, but still. Bullets and a blood vial. I will show you something quickly. The area to the optional boss. I don't know if anyone's actually playing along, you see, so I might as well sort of show you. As you go along here, bear in mind if you drop off here, you can't get back up. Be aware of Hound. See that thing down there? Yeah, that's the optional boss. See that thing down there? Yeah, it's not where we're going. Because that thing is evil. And while potentially could beat it, I don't have the actual equipment I want. Right now. There's equipment specially built to dealing with that thing. And, uh, I would like to do it later. Okay, this place is wonderful. Should we have a look out on the street? As much as I love staying in this church of goddamn absolute utter fucking terror, I think I will move on. Church is dedicated to some sort of horrific Lovecraftian tentacle beings from just not really my thing. I feel much more comfortable out here. He says. Guess what? Demon Piggy. If we fuck this up, this is gonna be bad, by the way. So we slap Demon Piggy from the side. We can do a visceral attack and make sure Demon Piggy, like, bites it in the throat, but, uh, they might risk it. Behold, a pale blood sky. This isn't my favourite place in the game, mainly because I find it utterly fucking unsettling. Here! Pooch! Ow. Careful without biting me, Mr. Doggy. There's one more Poochie up here. Oop! 
Boom! There we go. Two is easier. Right. Three dead bodies with madman's knowledge. Time for focus on evasion. Yeah, no kidding. The Yargle sort of set. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. If you look at close look at the statues, maybe. Nice and unnatural. This site looks like a bit of uh, Yarnum you wouldn't want to really visit very often. There are more Sanders and shit out and about. Uh, there's none I actually need to get into a barn of right now, honestly. Yeah, puppies. Here, puppies. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy. With a shotgun. In case anyone's curious, the guns are Quicksilver, which uh, in the game's mythos have the ability to, like, so much oomph they can knock back 20 story beasts. So, a little puppy ain't much uh, hog for the guns, that's why they fly back so far when you shoot them. In case anyone's curious. I was, that's why I looked it up, and that's why I'm telling you now. Aren't I nice? Full of facts and mystery, me. So these things are always doing fucking tons of damage. So, more blood vials to the blood vial god. Is that Santa over there? Wonderful. I love Santa. Okay, let's go over and slap his shit. Come on, puppy. There we go. Again, I'm skipping over things I shouldn't be. These statues. Some sort of hideous beings with claws and horns. That line the street. Hidden away from the rest of Yarnum. Yeah, I see you there, doggy. You're not barking me, mate. What I want to do is not pull Santa. I want to pull the dogs first. The last thing we want to do is upset Santa Claus with his pet squirrel. Fucking Dasher, Prancer, get your asses over here so I can slap you with my pimp cane. Lady Kiko's collect some taxes, and the taxes are your fur coats. Followed by Santa's bag of tricks. Alright, Santa, you piece of shit. I'm ready for you. Oh god! I just got slapped by Santa Claus and I live to tell the tale. What do we get for our trouble, you ask? A very nice weapon. Yeah, I'll give you the uh, lovely description. A unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. Striking this particular Iron Morning Star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks that blankets a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the Hunters of Archibald's time did not get to fully test the device. It, it's electricity, basically. Uh, it's a bolt weapon. Uh, I've never had a full chance to use it properly. I will probably give it a whirl. It's uh, certainly worth a stab, I think. Fear Beast, you know, no kidding. Is there anything else around here we need to collect? Was there any items down here that I didn't get yet? No, I've done it. There might be an item somewhere that I've missed, but I think I've been reasonably thorough. There's a couple of Santas that are left alive somewhere as well. There's a shortcut here, but we can't use it yet. It's not active. That's it, I think, for this area. So we've pretty much cleared out the jail and done everything I need to do here in one go. Uh, the side boss is there, and we will come back to him later. But now I'm leaving this place because it, like, it terrifies the piss out of me. Oh, yes, welcome back to the church of fucking Cthulhu Wonders. Yay! 
Seriously, that is incredibly unsettling, and I don't like it, and we're leaving. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be it for today's set. Next time, now that we've done all the- actually, no, 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 there's one thing left I want to show you. Uh, one thing left. Sorry, ignore that. Okay, sorry, this is what I want to show you. Hello. How are you? This would be the lady of the night we rescued. Of course, the old woman, the guy who didn't believe us, and a member of the church. Nice, huh? Okay, we're going to leave it here then. We'll talk to them all next time and get like a little bit of backstory off on each of them. Thank you very much for watching. Oh man, Lady Kiki, you look fucking swag. You are the coolest looking character I think I've managed to create so far. You are wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, comments and suggestions are appreciated. If there's anything you want to know about or anything you want to see that we've covered, you want to see a certain statue again, you want to see uh, have an explanation of what it is we saw, etc, etc, let us know. I can always go have a look at something. It's not a problem. That's half the fun of this. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, everybody. <laughs>